Welcome to the MLG Europe qualifier for Anaheim, uh, presented by Game On. My name is Katz. My name is Bin Racer. And uh, yeah, we'll be testing this qualifier for you. Yeah. So, first, uh, Rob from production, of course, joining us in production. Rob. Hello, Rob. Hello, Rob. Um, yeah, this should be pretty fun. We got a lot of fun matches. Uh, we have TLO playing today. We have Sokka, the god. EPS, uh, three-time EPS champion. Three-time EPS champion. Too. Sort of. Uh, Harbner, the fantastic Harbner. Yeah. Targa. Targos. Uh, amongst others. So this yeah. should be a fun day. Yeah. And uh, we'll be here tomorrow as well. But <coughs> my throat's pretty... <coughs> Hopefully we'll all be here tomorrow. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the first match we're gonna have here today is gonna be Targa against Harpner. Yep. And uh, we're ready to start whenever. So yep. Rob, count us in. Okay. So Isuba is, I Isuba. believe. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Isuba? Is that what you? Yeah, I don't know. That's what I say. I call it Isuba. It looks like Isuba. Mm -hmm. And what's with the L? They I just don't know. added the L? Maybe it looks cool, I don't know. It's not supposed to be there, right? No. Maybe someone else stole the Isuba. But uh, they, I don't know, maybe. Pro possibly. So Isuba is a, uh, is it a Sech? Czech? Yeah, Czech? I think so. I know how the flag looks, but I don't know what country it is. Yeah, I think so. Um, and I think the player that was most famous on this team was Preddy, back in Brood War. Or Devil. Or Devil. Uh, no, but do you know who Preddy is? Yeah. Did he play StarCraft 2? Yeah, the Terran. Okay. I, I, yeah, okay. For a short He played Brood War for sure. Um, yeah. But yeah, he was pretty good as well in StarCraft 2, I think. Yeah, he well, was. Definitely in Isuba, so. It is a pretty good uh, check, check, set? Check. Check team, yeah. Check team. And uh, from Norway, the second best player in Norway. Yeah. Also the second best surgeon in Norway. Second only to perhaps the best foreigner. Probably the best foreigner. So, uh, yeah, the amazing Targos. Targos. From IMG. IMG. Yeah. He is not in control. He does not want to be associated with in control. No. Don't do that. You know who might be though? Harpner. He seems like he's going for a forge. Mm. That's good. I, That's, gonna I go like that. I like uh, that. was good. You like it? Yeah, yeah, that was, that was clever. <laughs> so many first players seems to be going for a 14 forge in this map. Is that what you've been experiencing as well? I veto this map. All right, I don't because 90 is amazing. So target going for the 15 pool. I see many circles I see try to sneak the 15 hatch here because it's a four player spawn. Oh yeah. But then you have the really annoying can rush that San invented right here. I'm not sure can can they see where I'm pointing. Yeah, y y uh, Rob, can you uh, just switch camera to yeah. There we go. Yeah, here, right here, they put pylon, pylon, cannon. Zoom in, zoom in. Yeah, well, it's, they can't see. There you go. They can't see? I can't, I can't figure out how to switch this. Okay, I'll just put it on the camera. So we I can, can see it. Because it's a... Okay. Um. Yeah, either way, you can cannon rush on this map. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty nice. Asuba went for a 17x just a greedy build. Whoa. Yeah, and this is a bit greedy. This is why I like Nightfall in this map. Many pro players also think they can get away with stuff like this. I think Harper's opening as greedy as possible. Next is first thing to get away. Yeah, that's definitely the greediest possible opener. Well, Target's opening same. Yep. That might be because Target feels he's the superior player and Harper feels he's the inferior player. So I mean he wants a small that's advantage. Pretty good logic. Trading that for a bit of a gamble that Target wants Nightfall. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, Targa doesn't want to get cannon, doesn't want to lose to anything like that. Yeah. And Harpner wants to get whatever advantage he can as early as possible. So. Yeah. <coughs> but also Targa is a bit crazy, and he's the kind of guy that could nine pull even though he's arguably the superior player. Yeah, I mean, Jade does stuff like that all the time. Yeah, um, well, I think the might have been Targa and Jade is a bit different. <laughs> How so? It seems like Jade is more planned, you know? Uh, Target's more like a wild card. Maybe, but but like l what I was talking about is Jadong's not not afraid to like cheese, even though he is he is probably a square player, pretty much. Oh yeah, that's that's true. Yeah. yeah. So so yeah, 
yeah. it's it's pretty unexpected too. Like I yeah. played Jaden and I like try to cut a couple corners because yeah. I'm like, oh, maybe I like. You won't let that shit go. No, it's not just that. Like he shows up with an all in. I'm like, wow. Wow. Really? You know, like. <laughs> You wanna do this, Jaden? <laughs> yeah, you wanna do this, Jaden? Like I skipped, I skipped my, my, you know, my four bane links yeah. or my four links to make into bane links. Yeah. Then he shows up with a thousand links. I'm like, what is this, Jaden? Or or Bly? Or Bly? I don't know why you're being mean. That wasn't mean. That's okay. how we played. Oh, All right. You think he would deny that challenge? No, probably not. No. So Torg went for a relatively early third, which is a bit greedy. Yeah. He doesn't really have that great match vision either. There's a lot of places <coughs> where my man Harpner could have snuck out a probe and forked something. Yeah, especially since it's cross positions, so there's either side of the map yeah. to, to be sneaky. And the thing Target is in the wall isn't really revealing, so Target can't really have any idea what Harpner's doing. Yeah, and but now it's, it's in. Yeah, it's pretty difficult to scout with overlords on this map, but yeah. uh, Tar uh, Target's gonna be right on point and he might be able to see that. He will be able to see, I think, a little. It depends on how. Yeah, he goes straight for it. Yeah. Uh oh. Not good. Not good indeed. For Harpner. And it looks like Harpner is going for that. I think this can go for the 44 Pro Immortal Um, It's looking really possible at this point. Yeah. Have He's you ever played Harpner before? No. Ever. I don't think I have. I played some of the Super Bowls down there. They like Golem. Okay. So. Oh wow, this is weird. Yeah, very weird. Might have something to do with it being scouted. Uh, perhaps? Because many people try to counter it with Hydras and yeah. you show up. But then also they're like, they're very creative, this team. Uh, like oh, Devil. it could be the, it could be the, this old school build, like two Mortal Super Losses. Yeah, maybe. <coughs> like, they all have their own weird stuff in this team. Like, Devil always drone scouts in CDC. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, I don't think it's very good, but I guess it's a bit cute, yeah. So Target gets away with his relatively greedy <coughs> Now he's getting his overlord into position now that he sees that there are no Phoenix on the map. And also there can be no Phoenix, that's pretty good I think. Yeah. Because now they're free. Oh, it looks like he's going for what you said. The two Immortal, one Colossus. I think it might be two Colossus. You think? Um, yeah, probably. Unless he's just gonna move out with the one and the reinforce, but he, he's even getting thermal lands. I doubt it's just gonna be the one. I think it's gonna be two. Yeah. Is Targa gonna... You should go Hydra against an Immortal lane though, but does Targa play Is that he way? I don't... It doesn't seem like it. Targa seems more like a Roach guy. Yeah. But... He looks like a Roach guy. I, I don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, he's probably... It's That's what I'm trying to say. He's probably a Roach guy. He looks like he would be a Roach guy. Yeah. Yeah, Roach is yeah. That's not good for Harper. I also don't like that he has his closest. What? No, no, no. Like, he's so close. No, no, no. Yeah. Question. Very What is going to be the, the response, though? I mean. Make units and kill him, like. Yeah, but oh. that's what he's doing anyway. I mean, Targa wasn't going to make any less units, I don't think, or any different units. Unless he drops his fire, which I think would be. A of, mistake. Yeah. He's droning, though. I think this could make Targa think that the person is defensive. Maybe. Because, oh, because he hit one of these. I don't oh, know. If he wouldn't have shown any of the immortals, then I would have thought it would be an example. Um, yeah, he's uh, blocking himself off. In yeah. Atari, even moving out of the map off of creep. Very well. yeah. Doesn't have to, but then again, like he can get a really nice conclave here. If he wants true. to fight, but it goes home. Yeah, not very many units. And uh, two immortals there. I definitely think this fire was good. Yeah, me too. I don't think he's gonna get anything in time to, to use this fire. No, and it just seems to be <coughs> Target <coughs> drone very far as well. If he wins yeah, now, 70 drones. 70 drones, yeah. It's quite a number. Yeah, we'll have to be a, a mistake from Harpner if uh, Target manages to edge, edge out here. Yeah. Because, yeah, the Spire again. I, I think he was already making roaches. That's I think that's all he needed. Four roaches. Like, Target has also supply, but then. Yes, like 30 more workers. Partner's taking a sweet time then. Yeah, I shouldn't. Yeah, he needs to be a bit more decisive, and this is quite bad. Yeah, he needs to be a bit more decisive. He's not just for it, That's not good. You feel the fun. And I did. Pulling, uh, pulling the army of, uh, why would you get your one? Partner. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's been pulled. The sergeant has been pulled twice. Yeah. In different positions, he's just dancing around for no reason. 
And yeah. now the corruptors are gonna come into play, so... Yeah, this is... Yeah, I would... i say this would be brilliant for Horseman, unless they put some magic on it. Yeah. E even then, I mean, he gave him... He gave Karga so much time. Yeah. Even from, from the first Galaxy Blossom, so he hit an immortal, but... I mean, everything went as he, as he would have If he wins, it's actually really impressive. Yeah, um... I don't like Karga's so move to abandon the third. Mm. If he loses <coughs> these workers, his partner is really like, he kind of can go home without being too scared. Yeah, the Mario should play for him some more. Unit. 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 I don't know. It's gonna be really close. And Target lost the drones as well. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, so Target can now uh, retake his third. Yeah. Third. And then he'll have an extreme economic advantage. Yeah, I think Harper, uh, Harper had the, the the build advantage here. Yes, for sure. But okay. Target just seems to be on a level above Harper. Yeah, definitely. It, it appears to be that way. Targa is playing a bit different than he's been playing lately. He's been playing a lot of four modes lately, but here he seems to be playing a bit more aggressive. Mm. I think that might have something with partner to do, or with... The map, perhaps? Yeah, possibly. The spawns, at least. Yeah. Because if Harpner was top right, swarm boss would be very good. Yeah, indeed. Or bottom left would still be fine. Not as good as top right, but yeah. It if you would be make the creep highway by the watchtowers, and then park outside of... The bottom one. Yeah, but then there's always two paths. Yeah, that's true though. Yeah. Um, yeah. Top, top to top or bottom to bottom, there's Definitely. only one real path. Yeah. The other one's too much of a choke. Harpner's making the best of the situation, hoping that Targa <coughs> will make a bad attack and give him a chance to come back in the game. Yeah. But Targa has usually pretty decent engages, and he's not even gonna risk it by going for a fighting army. He goes for the Mutas, which is a nice use of his advantage. Yeah. Mutas are pretty good always when you have an advantage, yep. um, especially if you you know know that your opponent's probably gonna have to stay on low tech if he wants to survive whatever units you have. Yeah, they're they're just really nice pick up workers, make your opponent stay on his side of the map while you uh, secure your advantage by making more drones, yeah. expansions, whatever you, whatever you want. And he also knew that Harper was on robot. Right? Yeah, and he had a corrupt just earlier, so some Phoenix save up wouldn't be that big. That's that is true, yeah, that's nice of him. So far, uh, seven workers here. You just three workers so fast. Yeah, I like what Hardman is uh, doing here. You do? Uh, pushing out, I yeah. think, could be one of his best options. I think he's he dead, no matter what. Yeah, but, yeah, he has to do an attack. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> I feel like just sitting back against uh, the Muta and letting, letting his advantage... Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he should cancel it, but shouldn't drone it out. Like, yeah. in three minutes... Uh, this one will mine out the main, and then he can go to his third with those workers. Yep, and uh, Hardner is pushing out. If he can get a decisive uh, a decisive fight, and uh, Targa is actually not counter-attacking on the meter, well, he's they're dead weight in the fight. Definitely, but then Targa is going for this war as well. I think his thought... Oh, don't kill the Corruptors. Don't kill the Corruptors. I think Targa's thought with this was to bait out Colossus or Phoenix, and then war mode would be wonderful against that. Yep. But Harkner's not falling he's for the mind games. Yeah, but he's yeah, yeah, but at the same time he's so slow and pushing this and there's no observer. Yeah, that's a bit scary. Yeah, oh, I think he's yes, a bit too cautious. Yeah. Does Targa have the No, he does not have the enduring Loki. Yeah, Harkner is so cautious with his attacks. He's so slow. Yeah. I think he needs to be a bit more fearless if he wants to have a chance to win this. Yeah, definitely. And it's not probing the hand Harkner man. <coughs> No use in picking up the characters, really. No. They have nothing to do with this. They don't work for some more amount of people. Yep. They're just uh, better off being left alive here. Yeah. Uh, hard to think of that kind of thing in a game, of course. I would probably kill them as well. Mm, yeah, I guess so. And uh, this is for Karina, I think. Yeah. They hit really bad. Yeah, even if he trades uh, these numbers. Playing him has been... It's not only like now that he's dead to target. Target has been mining a lot more. Yeah. And the unit loss is kind of similar, considering how much more target mine the event is really big. Yeah. And now there's going to be no way for Arpen to kill the Swarm House. Yeah, definitely. And Targa's still playing really cautious. Of yeah. course, 
Carbonara doesn't want to leave just yet. Yeah, I don't like the swarm with my target here. Actually. He's making twelve more. He's yeah. gonna. I hope he uses them offensively. Yeah, this could be very boring otherwise. <coughs> yeah, because there's no reason for it. Yeah, it's, it's not, not like he's gonna be surviving or anything like that. He's still just literally left his opponent back in. Yeah. And Something I saw some this, this Norwegian player seems to delay their upgrade quite a bit in this matchup. Uh yeah. I do as well when I go Swarmos. You do? Yeah. Because Swarmos, but only when I go Swarmos. Okay, yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, it's new to most of I, th I think that, yeah, upgrades are less better than Locusts. Target still doesn't have them during Locusts upgrade, that's a pretty big thing. Yeah, thing when though. you have, how many Swarm do you have? 26. Yeah, you want, yeah. Then it's <laughs> probably worth it to get that. Probably. I'm not sure, but I, I would get it. Yeah, we could. And he has the money to there, so. He, he probably yeah. just forgot it, especially when you're being aggressive with the Swarm host. Yeah, then it's worth even more. But as soon as this one kicks in, I don't think Harkon has enough DPS to push it back. Oh no. I think Targa is just too sad and uses it up. Well I think I think Targa uh, if, if if he had something to back off to back the Sonos, like maybe Roaches or Hydras, yeah. he could he could stay in and, and you know, use the Roach Hydra kind of as spines of sorts. But he doesn't really wanna do that here, like he has such a big advantage and it's really hard to be like that losing a form. Yeah, yeah exactly. That, that's why you need the, the Hydra Roach yeah. if you want to be aggressive. Otherwise, if you just get caught in the middle of the map, you die. And especially with often during Locust. <coughs> yeah. still no server. Yeah, that's pretty bad for Harpner. Yeah, indeed. Uh, Targa not moving his way to the right place. Targa's going for Melia. Can be going for an Ultra Switch? It wouldn't be too bad. I mean, it could end the game, but uh, yeah. as it seems Targa... It's like <laughs> yeah, Tar yeah Targa's decisions have been really questionable. I mean, yeah. he had a win with the thing like that he's won. just in words, he's just been winning with superior mechanics there. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah, yeah, I would agree with that 100%. It seems like Hardner has had the, the edge in decision making. And but then again, he hasn't really... Uh, he was kind of close to dying, I guess, at the first push, but... So thank you for safe. Targa? Yeah. yeah, perhaps that's it as well. Maybe he's just playing extra safe. Maybe he's scared because he's the best of three. Yeah. And uh, Vipers now? That's nice. Harkner's killing some work, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't. It's not gonna make a difference there. Targa is maxed on building a bank, and Harkner is not really maxed. Like, close to being maxed. 60 supply away. Oh no, we'll see stuffers. And it's not like he has a good army either. Like, Harkner has a pretty weak army with quite some fun stalkers. He doesn't have a lot of mechanics or explosives or nice stuff like this. Yeah, he is getting plus 3 attack though. That's yeah. gonna be nice. Yeah, well, what's plus 3 attack gonna do with Targum as out with this? Yeah, I don't know. Stormhost. <coughs> okay, Targa will be moving out. Yes. And there is a lot of Vipers on Corruptors, so this could go well. I'm not sure with about why he has the Corruptors. Um, he didn't see a target all game, like it would be very weird to see. Yeah, I think it's just for the Colossus. Um, it's the only thing that can contest from most of the Yeah, that's right. That's, yeah, that's what Royal does. I think it's the final thing. I think Stefan gets a bit more turtle-ish, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, I mean... He takes it a bit slower. Yeah, a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I mean, in terms of the position, I'm getting the Corruptors early. Like, I, I prefer, if it's a special for turtle to be an investor for I'm pretty sure it's the opposite way around. I'm no, pretty sure no, they were made for the two hour game. You think so? Yeah. Really? And then you should play defense. You always have the backup plan of going in the main. That's very common thing as well. Oh, yeah. When you're playing, you know, you can't lose the worst you can do is a draw. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. Well, CVP you could lose. I guess, yeah, but it's still. If you just survive long enough, it would be really hard for them to break the main. Yeah, you can break their uh, mentality. Yeah, that's Probably something that hasn't game, been so. really been explored enough yet, I think. Sitting in the main versus Protoss. We've seen it a bit in CVC lately, but... Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't win against Protoss, because Protoss right? But... Oh, yeah, that's probably right. And here...
carry it over. Rip. This game was over for a long time though. Target just yeah. took his sweet time to finish it. Yeah, he did. And we're gonna go into a quick commercial break. We'll be back in 90 seconds. And now they can't hear us, yeah? 